Hello friends at .net. I'm Emil Landruff and you can find me on Twitter at TerraJobs. So in this quick video, I'll show you how you can add Microsoft Teams to your Stream Deck so that you can easily toggle the camera, the microphone, or raise your hand without the Teams window having to have the focus. Because all the other solutions that are currently out there use shortcut automation, which only really works when the active call is actually the window that has the focus. Uh, which for me, because I like multitasking, is really the case. So what can you do for this? So what you do is you go to your Stream Deck software and then you go here on, what is it called? Add plugin, I think. And then you just search for Microsoft Teams. Um, Microsoft Teams, here we go. And then you click install and then confirms it. Get this nice little progress by here. And so now you have it. Now there's a bunch of new actions here that show up. Uh, of course, there is the raise hand action, for example. And in order for you to configure it, it needs this API token here. So what you have to do is you have to open Teams, go to the settings in Teams, go to privacy, scroll all the way to the bottom and click on manage API. So if you don't see this, uh, that probably means you are not on the latest version of Teams, uh, which if you work at Microsoft, you probably want to be on the dog footing build of Teams. If you're external to Microsoft, then I'm sorry, you probably just have to wait for it to get here. But once you have it, you can just click Enable API, and you get this API token here, which I really wish there would be a copy button here, but there isn't, you have to select it carefully, click Copy, um, and then afterwards, you just paste it in here, uh, and now you can see the icon slightly changes now, no more an error, and so when, the, when uh, Teams has an active call, you can use this to raise or lower your hand. Uh, there's also the reactions you can drop in. So now if I say applause, for example, you can see it already has pre-filled the API token. So you only have to do it on the first one. And then that's it. There's a bunch of other things here, like, you know, turning on the camera, background blur. Uh, there's also record if you really want this. Uh, so it's super, super useful. So that's all I have. Thank you very much and bye-bye.